Well, after falling in the American Athletic Conference semifinals on Friday to UConn, it became time for UC to look ahead to Selection Sunday, where the Bearcats will likely receive their highest seed of the Mick Cronin era. CBS Sportsline's Jerry Palm has the Bearcats a number three seed, and ESPN's Joe Lenardi has the Bearcats as a number four. UC's highest seed under Cronin was number six in both 2011 and 2012. That means that as tough as last night's 58-56 loss was for the Bearcats, it probably didn't affect their seed much, if at all. Tron Kilpatrick, of course, had a chance to force overtime, but his layup spun out. The Bearcats couldn't get up a follow shot in time. Kilpatrick, by the way, tonight named to the all-tournament team and said after last night's loss, he's putting it quickly behind him. I'm over it. <laughs> I mean, you got to have short-term memory with that. I mean, it, it happens. Nothing's going to um, nothing's gonna really sit there and, and be on my mind for long. I mean, it's, it's a long season still, and... I mean, I'm a veteran guy here. That, that's something that I got to get over, I'm, and I'm over it now. I mean, as soon as it happened, as soon as the time went over, I mean, I'm, the time went on by. I mean, I was over it. Louisville wound up winning the AAC tourney title 71-61 tonight over UConn. Game one of University of Kentucky basketball coach John Calipari's mysterious tweaking of his team's offense was a huge success when the Wildcats whipped LSU on Friday night in the SEC tourney quarterfinals 85-67. They were looking to make it two straight successful offensive performances when they faced Georgia in the semifinals today in Atlanta's Georgia Dome. The young Wildcats trying to finally come together at just the right time. UK up 36-32 at halftime. Julius Randle got the second half off to a good start. Off the assist from James Young. He had 12 points and 11 rebounds. Aaron Harrison made three threes against LSU today, matched his career high with four of them, and finished with a game high 22. Georgia hung around, but Dakari Johnson, off the miss, got the offensive rebound, powered his way for two, which started a 10 2 UK run, and the Wildcats finish it from there. Andrew Harrison, one of his nine assists to Young, and UK advanced to the SEC championship, where it will face Florida tomorrow after a 70 58 victory. Aaron Kraft and the Ohio State Buckeyes fell behind Michigan as much as 16 of the Big Ten semifinals, but Sam Thompson. Thompson off the lob gave Ohio State a 61 60 lead. Buckeyes went up 68 65, but Nick Stauskas stuck the jumper to pull Michigan within 68 67. Two free throws put Michigan up 69 68. Then Stauskas with the reverse layup gave the Wolverines a 71 68 advantage. It was 72 69. Michigan had a chance to ice it with six seconds left. However, Spike Albrook with the miss and Kraft with a chance to send the game into overtime lost the ball on the way up, and Michigan held on to advance to so tomorrow's championship game against Michigan State 72 69. The Princeton High School girls basketball team has only appeared in one Ohio Division I state championship before. That's when it won it all in 1987. And tonight, it was looking to cap off a spectacular season by winning its second title against talented North Canton Hoover. Value City Arena in Columbus, the site for tonight's championship game. And Jill Phillips Vikings up seven in the second quarter when Ohio missed basketball. Kelsey Mitchell missed the three, but Carly Pogue with the offensive rebound and a 26 17 lead. First half winding down with Mitchell with the steal and no stopping her as she headed for the finish. And a 31 24 Princeton halftime lead. Princeton had a 12 point third quarter lead cut to six heading to the fourth, but it's Kelsey Mitchell once again, this time the and one. She finished with 30 points, and Princeton claimed the Division I state title 61 55. Tap beat Thurgood Marshall in the regular season, but Thurgood Marshall won the rematch in today's Division II regional final in Kettering, buying 20 points from 6'8 sophomore center Derek Daniels. Also today in Kettering, in the D3 regional final, Roger Bacon snapped a four year regional championship game losing streak. By Downing Summit Country Day. Carlos Jackson's sixth three pointer of the game broke a 44 40 forward tie with 3.05 left to give the Spartans for a lead for good. Roger Bacon will play Lima Central Catholic in a D3 state semifinal at 2 o'clock this Friday. Homer Bailey was supposed to get the start for the Reds in today's Cactus League game against Milwaukee, but was scratched with what the team said was a mild groin strain. The Reds came with the lumber today to win their third straight. Chris Heisey belted his fifth home run of the spring, while Roger Bernardino, Chris Nelson, and Nick Valley Soto each homered as well. Soto was four for four and is now hitting four. 38 on the spring.